Hey, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. I'm so glad you're here today. Today's story is How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. How do dinosaurs go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to school, does he roughhouse and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? Oh, that would not be nice. Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Does a dinosaur yell? Teacher does not look happy. And when in the classroom, plucked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget his tail in the air? Does he growl during chalk talk or roar out of turn? Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? He's playing a drum. Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? You know someone in your class who does that, don't you? Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No? I didn't think so. A dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. At recess, he plays with a number of friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. That's right. Bullies aren't nice. He tidies his desk, then he leaps out the door. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. Those dinosaurs sure are big, but they're great helpers. They don't make trouble. Are you back in school? Tell me in the comments below. Did you have fun over the holidays? Tell me what you did. And also tell me what stories you want me to read here at Storytime with Gigi. And make sure you subscribe so you never miss a story time. And until next time, as my friend Les Brown would say, shoot for the moon, because if you miss, you might just land amongst the stars. Bye. Mm -hmm.